Hiya, welcome back to Isolation Creations with Mahindra Racing. Um, so hopefully you watched the first one, which was creating Mahindra Bear as a drawing. And there was a little bit of introduction in there as well. So this was the last drawing. I'm going to go straight into this drawing um, so that you can watch it in a 20, 20 minute window. What I'm going to hope to do this time is I've got my camera out as well so what i'll do is at certain stages i'll photograph it so you can kind of see the progress of stills of the artwork being created right i normally i don't normally grid the piece of paper i normally just just get on with it however for some people it might be easier just to grid it just to give it an idea of where you want to draw um so imagine that you're like a game uh, like a game of noughts and crosses so you have that kind of grid of where you want things to go um so if you just do it really faint and not not very not very heavy just a really really faint grid like this and then you can work out where these pieces you want them to aim for so Roughly, the the nose of the Formula E car is going to go here. The cockpit is roughly around about here. And then just below that, there and there. So this is where your top of the wheel arches, top of the wheel arches, cockpit, front of the nose. And then roughly the wing is going to be here and here. And the top bit of the wing is going to be around here and here. And then the, the, roll, the roll hoop is going to be around about here and the over the driver's head. That's the, 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 uh, the, the halo. I had a slight mind bang then. Um, sometimes it happens. That's going to be around about here. So you've got, you can label those if you want. But then you've got some, and then you've also got the wing mirrors here and here. So you've got these kind of points where you, you might, yeah, a bit like um, following the line. You know, you want to go right here, here, here. Roughly, that's where you want it to be. You can do it. Uh, if, you, if you don't want to go straight in felt tips, try it with a pencil. So because then you can always, yeah, if you want to, you can always rub it out. But I'd say, if you can, do it in pen because then you can see how you're improving as well so even if you you feel oh something is a the next one you'll get better right the next one you get better better right so if you want you can grid it out it's the same as what we did with the bear if it's just grid it out and you can put some pointers about where roughly you want these these things to be in in your own head really um and it might just help we're gonna do this i said there's i've put the uh marker where the where I wanted the wing mirrors to be, that kind of that, that's helped me go right. That's where that is, and then go right. That's where the halo is going to go as well, and then down into the middle with that. Right, and then we got the roll hoop, like we said over here. The roll hoop hits that bit there, and then the winglets over here and then that can lead to the fin on the back and then you've got the rear as well and the rear is not as the rear isn't as wide as the front so just be careful you've got enough room to do that you can bring that down and there try and keep that pen constantly on the piece of paper try not to worry too much Because we want to see where the line is going. So it's quite a complicated car to do. You know, race cars are are always complicated. They are the most complicated thing I, I try and create. There's lots of branding and things to, to try and get in. So, and 
always make sure you're looking at the um, at the screen as much as possible, whatever your your reference point is. I mean, it might be an iPad, it might be a, you know, whatever your your thing. But yeah, mine's the laptop in front of me over here. And then that's the. I'm right. Yeah, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm not like oh, I didn't go exactly to where I put that point. So it can be a little bit. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's, it's your artwork. It's not. It's not. Or you're, you're 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 the creative of this. So try not to be too hard on yourself. And say that sometimes it's good to show you your workings. You may. Yeah, you know, I'd say I'd say mistakes, but you know, let's try and let's try and and you got the the driver numbers down here as well, and obviously ninety four and sixty four. So you can always put that detail in as well, but you can go back and do that. That's not, if you feel confident enough to do it, then you can you can have a go at that. You've got the front wing. Well, so this is a, a head-on version of the car, the race car. So I haven't taken the pen off yet. Let's try that and then come down. And then So there is my very basic outline of what I see on here. So it's my interpretation. Of what I see on here, and I've, you know, it's like I've missed out bits. But this is when you go right. That's my, that's my my starting point. Now, as I said, I had my camera out earlier, so you could, yeah, when I'm putting reference points in, could have done that at that point as well. So just take, just gonna take a photo. So you can see roughly what I'm seeing whilst creating it so that is the outline i'm going to try and create this image from head on what the beauty of the of the of the mahindra uh, race car is it's got it's very simple colors red blue and black and white pretty much so you can can start planning around that so what i tend to do is to first of all get if you've got a couple of different sizes of of uh, of felt tip or, or colouring pencil, it could be anything really. Then you can start blocking in what you, blocking in the colour. What you might want to do is after your initial outline, is that you might just want to draw in some of the things that you you missed out the first time. And also try and give yourself a time limit. I try and do as all of these drawings. In 30 minutes, I try and give them a 30-minute window. That's just me. I'm a trade, but I'm a trained artist, so that's I like to give myself limits of how how long it takes for me to do things. You don't have to do that. Or you can say, I'm going to give myself an hour to do this, or yeah, two hours. Or, you know, give yourself a bit of a, a window to create within. So then, what you can do is that you can start. My, my blocking in the areas. So I'm just highlighting these bits, and you've got, you've got the front panel there, which I've got drawn in. So it's that area. And what's nice about this is it's symmetrical, so roughly 
yeah, you get what you kill on this side, you kill on this side. So yeah, roughly, it's a symmetrical image. This, yeah, obviously the image that I'm, I'm basing it on. Yeah, there might be a, a different image uh, you know, on the, on the, on the Facebook page on the Mahindra socials that you like. Actually, I'd like to try try that image, but this is the one I thought I'd have a have a go at. I say, just be confident about blocking those areas. You don't have to worry too much um, about being exact. It's, it's an interpretation of the photo. We're not looking for for an exact exact copy of what we see so there's a couple of different very you know there's kind of light blues and dark blues but so we're just going to go for kind of a lot a, a mid-tone blue here just starting to do that and then so it's blue and it's got a darker blue at the front here. So we've got the mid-tone there. And that one there. I'm kind of. I've got a. I've got a white pen that I can go back over it. So if you haven't got white, you can always leave the areas that you want white, where the branding is. You can always leave. You know, do a rough idea of what that looks like. And you start seeing the car come together. You can start adding the kind of the the logos in. So some of the some of the branding Side parts underneath there as well, so just there, and just there. So it's a symmetrical image, so you can you can play around with that. Now you've got. I say don't don't worry. You're like oh, it does not look. Yeah, it. it, it'll take time to just to to get used to the materials and get used to creating this way. And being quite free with it, yeah. So be quite broad if you can. If you've got a broader, broader, um, you know, uh, whatever, you, whatever you're drawing with, that's pencils or, or felt tips or or, or things. You, you can try. Yeah, you can shade in different ways. You can cross hatch. Um, it's what we talked about in that in the last session was cross hatching. But be as as confident as you can with those initial. There's this where you're putting down the colours. And then, um, then just got the back wheel in there and the back wheel in there over here as well. Doing that right. So there are white areas on the car. The bottom the body of the car is white. There's bits over here that are white. But now, you, you should have by just using like four colours, four of the same colours, pretty much, be able to block in and create the car, or have or at least the car should start looking like it's forming. So, I say, 
that's the you know, you've now got the basics of that of that car here on the page. You've got the wing. You can see the the, the cockpit tires. Yeah, you, know, you, you start. It's starting to make shape. And that might be where you go. That, that might be it. You might go, right, that is what I achieved. That's what I went out to do. That's 10, you know, 15, 20 minutes of um, of of a, ba a very simple but effective way of creating. But you might, you might want to go on to the next level. You might want to go, right, actually, I want to try and, and make it look a bit more realistic. So, again, if you can, if, if you've got other shades if you've got more more than you know, more than kind of basic colors then you can start really going back into it as well so what you can do is i say this cross hatching which is a very particular type of shade when you kind of do lines Start giving the shape a bit more to the to the to the whole thing. I'm just starting to rework that shape and just always making sure you're looking at the image as well. Try and have it in in your kind of eye shot. Yeah, so when you're looking up, you kind of. It's like it's, it's like a thing you call a nodding dog. So you yeah 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 you kind of look like you you kind of looking at peeking up. And you can just start refining, and I mean what I've, what I've got is. I've got some some a white pen that helps overlay. So you can, it's almost like it's almost looks like tip X in a, in a in a pen form. And then there's bits of yellow in the in the branding as well. So I'm just getting those um, those just a little bit more detail into it now. So it's just refining it a little bit more. Just uh, to show you the livery. Interesting cars to to uh, to draw. And so I've, I've I've never drawn one before, so it's I've painted them. And they're quite tricky to paint. They're quite they're quite uh, there's a lot of lots of uh, wings and things. What you can do is the start yeah, if you wanted to. 
bring a little bit you know, good, the idea that it's you know it's sitting on the floor on the ground you can start adding a bit of the underneath of it just gives it a little bit of context So I say that's almost like the next stage now is just bringing in those those highlights. And it really is up to you how much detail you want. Yeah, you know, sometimes it look quite nice. You know, quite simple. And not go for every last bit of detail it's, it's more about an impression more than anything as we, you know, we're not going for the perfect Shading down there as well. It's um, got some silver pens, so they're always quite useful for uh, mechanicals and. But really, yeah, this is like the next. Try and build yourself into layers of it, you know, and, and not worry too much about all this kind of shading. You know, try and you know, try first, just try the outline, get practice the outline, and then start worrying about oh, is it, how's it going to look in terms of shading and branding and everything else. So, yeah, it's very much an impression of it and I'd rather see how you've drawn it the lines the, the continuous lines more than anything so I, I could go I could go even more detailed if I really wanted to but I think yeah for this for this session I want to try and keep it as as simple and accessible as possible so I'm gonna say, for now, for this session, that's that's complete. Uh, hopefully, you can try, you know, do the same. Select. I mean, I'm going to put out this image so you can see the image that I'm doing here. Um, but you may want to have a yeah you know, side profile. Also, could be really really good. Um, and I'll do another. I, um, and for now, there we are. There is the Mahindra Formula E car drawn as a uh, continuous line drawing so I hope you like it there it is there it is Ta -da. and I'll see you all again soon thanks for watching